happy new year. I hope you're all well and your 2021 has got off to a good start. The first video I thought I would bring you this year is a full house tour. Now I know when me and Carl moved in to our house back in September, I did a full empty house tour and I promised you in that one that I would bring you another house tour once we'd furnished it because as you know when we moved in we had very little furniture um so for those who haven't seen that i will link that video down below and also just bear in mind this is a military house both myself and carl are in the ref and we moved into this military quarter back in september so we are limited to what we can do in a military quarter um, you can paint the walls and you can decorate it as you want but you have to put it back to its original state once you move out i suppose it's kind of like renting a house i've never rented a house so i don't really know exactly about that but i imagine it's quite similar um so some of the rooms unfortunately some of the things such as the doors we are unable to change as much as we would like to um some of the rooms we haven't painted we haven't bothered we've just sort of painted the main ones and also the kitchen as well is out of our control we can't change the cupboards ourselves or the work surfaces or anything like that um, and unfortunately they haven't come and changed the kitchen they did say that they were going to but it's still the same as it was before but obviously we've put our own little bits in there to make it as nice as we can because that's got to be the worst room of the house but I will show you everywhere nonetheless I have tidied and everything but it's not perfect um it's a we live here um so there's going to be things plugged in like a charger and stuff lying around that I'm sure in some people's YouTube videos of their houses they look immaculate but you know I've this is pretty much how it looks most of the time um, once we've had a bit of a clean. So it's not gonna be perfect. We live here, we're normal people and I'm gonna show you around my normal house. So yeah, it is a military quarter and we have made it as homely as we can without giving ourselves too much work to do when we move out because we're not sure yet how long we're going to be here. We don't see it being too long, but how long, I'm not sure. We'll see how 2021 goes. So as you walk through the front door, not much has changed in the hallway because we don't really use this area. It's only quite small. Um, and you have our cupboard where all our coats and everything go in here. Um, how messy is this? Oh, no, it's not too bad. Coat's fallen down, but where all our coats go, we've still got my mum and dad's deck chairs up there from what they borrowed us, um, what they gave to us when we first moved in before we had our sofa. So that's there, our heating thermostat is right there. Not the most interesting part of the house, but oh well. Then this is the only real addition to the hallway. This is our radiator cover. We got this from Amazon and it's a small size. I absolutely love it because it gives a bit of a shelf in a hallway that otherwise has not a lot going on. Um, and just decorated it with a few bits. And I really like it. It gives a bit of something as you walk down the stairs as well to look at as you're coming down. I would love um, a big mirror that goes here, maybe like an archway sort of mirror. Um, I would really like that for there. I think it would really finish it off nicely, but we haven't got one yet. Then our downstairs loo, again, not much else in here. Haven't painted the hallway and haven't painted in here, but we have put down a nice little tropical green um, mat and hand towel, of course. Um, and Tropic hand soap and hand wash and lotion is a must. And that's the hallway. So I'm going to take you left, which goes into the living room. And this is probably where most of the change has happened. So a quick scan of the living room. Now, this was pretty much bare with an air mattress down here in the first video um, but we've done quite a lot in here so we've got some curtains some like silvery grey curtains um, from the range to go here um, and we bought the curtain poles I think from the range as well got another radiator cover in here which again was from Amazon um, this is a larger one um, and all our other radiator covers that we have are the large size um, but really like them if you haven't had radiator covers before definitely recommend them because some people I know are concerned that they're going to block out like heat but they don't it still gets nice and toasty in here and it's really really good 
and it gives you another shelf space. Carl loves to sit in his armchair here with his brew on there and he's in his element. He loves it. <laughs> Do you like our fireplace? <laughs> Obviously not. It is on YouTube. If you're wondering where I get these fireplaces from, they play on YouTube and we hit, literally had one going on Christmas Day. You can get Christmas scenes and all sorts. Um, all day long while we were playing games and things like that and it was just super cozy and I loved it um, so yeah the armchair is from next um, and it's like in this silvery grey um, sort of material um, and yeah Carl just loves it and it matches perfectly with our sofa which is also from next um, I can't remember the name off the top of my head but I'll link it down below um, the exact sofa that we've got and this is a three-seater but it is so big and spacious that actually you pretty fit comfortably four people on it and I'll do it head on so you can see how big it is but we were a bit concerned because this is quite a big space in here and I was a bit concerned that it would look a bit lost but I don't think it does at all and I think um, with our three-seater and then our armchair here I think if we had something there as well it would block like the the walkway so I would like a table there um, that's where our Christmas tree was um, so it does look a bit empty now it's gone but um, yeah nothing too like protruding forward because then you'd you'd ruin the walkway so I love the setup that we've got with our three-seater and our armchair this um, little basket I had before we moved in here it's just from Ikea um, but it's perfect to keep my blankets and everything in and we've been using it because we don't have a coffee table yet we've been using it as a bit of a coffee table as well to put our drinks and stuff on the TV unit um, we didn't have in the last video either this was brought again from next i love it i really wanted white furniture in here um because when i had my flat i just sort of had to get what i could um that was when i lived by myself um so this time i thought i want all white furniture and so that's what we went for um yeah from next and then our lantern thing is i had that again before we moved in and i think that was from dunelm yeah dunelm probably do with a new one because that's slightly discolored at the top now but i love it there i could probably get another one to go there it would probably look quite nice but um also from our wreath if you saw our wreath at christmas that went around the tv it's really made me want something there now all during the year i think maybe some fairy lights or something but if you've got any ideas of what i could dress it with like i think the wreath with the fairy lights on it at christmas look really nice but it seems a bit bare now so what do you think fairy lights along here let me know thumbs up or down <laughs> our mirror again I had this in my flat when I lived on my own so we brought this here thought it looked perfect in between those two lights um, and that is from next as well I got it a few years ago now though um, but I'll see if it's still on their website um, obviously these lights we could probably change if we wanted to, but it's just too much hassle. So we're just going to leave them there. We don't really notice them. Um, and I just think, I think it looks nice anyway. Obviously, if it was our own house, we would change them, but we're not going to bother in this one. Moving on to the dining room area. We have our grey console table, which we were using as our TV unit, I think, in the last video when we first moved in. Because, again, I had this before, and this was from Melody Maison. I absolutely love this. I've got a few things from Melody Maison. Um, and at the moment, we've got some engagement flowers that are on their last legs from my mum and dad. But don't want to get rid of them just yet. Um, got a candle. Got our scent. Oh, I can't even remember what you call these. They, you put the wax melt in the top from Carl's sister. She got that, um, her and her fiance got that for me for my birthday. Um, and I absolutely love it. And Carl loves it too. He actually lit this one this morning because um, he just loves the smell. And all our engagement cards are still out. I'm still reveling in it. And yeah, love them. Then our dining room table, which we got from Ikea, which is perfect. Um, and it also extends so that you can get, um, so you can have it bigger. And we did this on Boxing Day when we had like a buffet lunch. We extended it out and then all the food went on it and it was really nice. Also my new candle, which I got for Christmas um, from Carl. He bought me this big, massive Jo Malone candle. I've wanted to try Jo Malone stuff for ages, but as we all know, it's so expensive. Um, but he bought me this and it is really big. I don't know if you can 
it's like the size of the palm of my hand. Um, and they don't come cheap, so thank you, Carl. I love it, but I haven't burnt it yet. It is still unburnt, but even if I just take the lid off, it smells so nice. This one is um, lime basil and mandarin, and just give it a quick whiff. It smells so good, but Carl won't let me burn it. He's bought it for me, but he won't let me burn it um, because he knows how much it costs. <laughs> but yeah. Our tables from Ikea, we got the little runner just from um, Dunelm. And then my chairs, I had these before I moved in here as well. I had these in my flat. Um, these are from Next, but again, a few years old. But I think this sort of material is pretty standard for Next. So I believe they probably still have them or one's very similar. Um, and this is in a slightly darker gray because originally this matched my sofa that I had in my flat. Um, and it was this exact gray, it was darker, but obviously it's um, our sofa now is a bit lighter but it's all different shades of grey so I think it all goes quite well to be honest so yeah they go perfectly in here we got our big clock which is pretty much the same size as our mirror maybe a little bit smaller um, and this was just a random find that we got in the range we just went for a few bits in the range saw this and it was 40 pounds and I really love it then this little table used to be in the hallway in my flat um, so it was another piece that we brought with us to this house um, and we just popped it here because we didn't really know where to put it we thought about putting it over there but we've just had it here for so long now um, that we've just sort of left it here so yeah I'm not sure we'll probably leave it here for a while what do you think there or over there we wanted a nice big lamp for it as well but this lamp is actually used to be in my bedroom but when we moved here the other one didn't make it it broke so we just started using this down here so we had a bit of light because we didn't want to put main lights on because they're so bright um, and we brought it down here and we've just kind of left it there because um, we've got new ones for the bedroom now so yeah we've just kind of made do but yeah and then we've got Curtains, again, I had these in my room on camp um, and I had them in my flat before um, and we thought we'd bought matching ones but they are actually more silver and these are a darker grey but again, because they're so far apart, you can't, you don't really notice it. Um, I mean, my mum noticed because she's got eagle eyes but <laughs> um, yeah, you don't really notice it too much so I think it goes with the darker sort of shades of grey over this end of the room quite well as well. So. Another radiator cover, the same as the other one down the other end of the living room. Um, got this jar, I love a sweet jar, um, from Ikea. And I love just putting pink and white marshmallows in there because it goes with the aesthetic. And this is kind of like our pink and white corner. Um, and we've got our photos up here. Again, these pictures I had up in the hallway of my flat. Um, and I didn't put them up in my room on camp. We've got them back out here in this little photo wall. We'd like to add some more to this as well um, and just sort of go off a little bit more. But these are what we've got for now. Let me take you through. So that's me and my friend Lauren when we went for a weekend in uh, London. That was a few years ago now. Um, me and Carl in Croatia, um, 2019, yeah, 2019. That, oh, in fact, that picture was actually taken in Venice. We were on holiday in Croatia, but we went for a day trip to Venice. So that was taken in Venice. This picture was um, taken in my grandma and granddad's garden. Um, obviously a really beautiful summer's day. This was my friend's wedding, um, Amy. It was her wedding um, in Botley. That was, oh, how long ago was that now, Amy? Two two years no one year ago just over one year ago yeah and that was the first time was it one year or was it two years I can't remember Amy if you're watching this how long ago how long have you been married um but yeah that was the first time me and Carl got properly dressed up together because we'd only been together a few months so it must have been two years ago yeah it must have been two so yeah picture of my mum and dad just out on a walk Looking very happy. This picture was in Croatia, um, in Porich, where me and Carl stayed. Oh, it's not going to focus. This one, as you can probably tell, it was at Body Power at the NEC in Birmingham. Um, 
obviously not last year, the year before. <laughs> um, and this again was at Body Power, meeting Terry Hollands um, and his now wife, um, Kate. So yeah, loved meeting them. They were so friendly and so lovely. Oh, and real time, our washing is out. I put it in here thinking I was gonna move it out, but oh well, you've seen our washing. That's that. So this is the kitchen, and if you've seen the first empty house tour that we did, then you'll know that all these cupboards are all mismatched. They're all different material, and nothing goes. Even these ones down here are different again. Um, all my chargers and stuff, ignore that. Um, but uh, yes, we can't really do much too much about this, but we do have a big fridge freezer now, which we didn't have before. We had, we were just using this little one that Carl had in his room on camp initially, but we've kept that because we kind of put like prepped meals in there. Over Christmas, we had extra food and drink in there, <laughs> but now we're being healthy, it's prepped meals. Um, yeah, we've got our big fridge freezer here. Let's see what's in there. We're new, new year new me so it's very healthy so i don't mind showing you my fridge um and we're both doing veganuary so everything is vegan we've got a bit of vegan cheese to put on top of our chilies and yes very healthy it did not look like this before the first of january let me tell you that <laughs> and we've also got our smeg toaster and kettle now i had a smeg kettle in my flat it was a chrome one and i sold it when i left because i didn't need a kettle in the block but i've always wanted the more vibrant colors and i absolutely love this mint one i said to carl it's either mint or it's pink so we compromised he compromised and we went for mint so yeah and we went for the double toaster and oh if you've ever had a double toaster you'll know how good these things are you don't have to wait your toast isn't cold when you want to sit down to eat together it's just brilliant it is a bit more money obviously but i'm so glad we went for the four um all my phone chargers our engagement drinks from people and leftover Christmas alcohol, which we won't be having through January. Um, my cookbook's in the corner, a bit of an admin area, that bit is anyway. Um, and then we got a washing machine as well, which we didn't have in the last video. And that back door, we use pretty much all the time. We very rarely use the front door. Our cars are literally just out there under the carport, so we come in this way usually. And it saves dragging mud all through the house as well. So that is pretty much the kitchen. Oh, we got ourselves a microwave. And these little plaques, um, I had in my flat as well. I like hugs, I like kisses, but what I really love is help with the dishes. Um, and then a couple of little bits on the windowsill. This is a money box I got for Christmas from Carl's mum. So I love these because you can't get into them. You have to smash them. As you can see, new home fund. Fingers crossed. We'll see if that happens this year. Watch this space. Our garden out there, which again, my dad and Carl did tidy up a bit. And I don't know if you can see, but my dad planted a few little daffodils for us to come up in the spring and you can see them sprouting just there. So that should a nice little pop of yellow come the summer or spring. And our garden looks out over to this big field and it's really lovely because there's horses in there sometimes and they walk up to the hedge. But yeah. Another little plaque we've got up here besides our Christmas and New Year bin collection dates is a little kitchen rules plaque which I got from a quirky little shop in Wickham near where I used to live in my flat. Love that. Our cake tin or cake stand which has no cakes in it now because we're trying to be healthy oh when we moved in as well they set this smart meter up for us which Carl was obsessed with when we first moved in um because he just kept watching the dial but now luckily he doesn't obsess over it and to be honest I don't even look at it <laughs> um and then we've got this little plaque um behind the door where I've got postcards from people I mean these postcards are from not last year, the year before, and I've just kept them up because I just love them. Um, Las Vegas, Carl went to Las Vegas with work the year before last, um, and then my mum and dad went to Portugal the year before last as well. So I've still got those up. And then this is a calendar. My dad makes a calendar every year um, for us, and it's got all different pictures of us over the years and it's so nice to get one of these every year and I keep them put them away and then you can look back through them but this 
I can't even remember when this was because my older brother is in it, David, and he's in Canada and I definitely didn't see him last year. So this must have been the year before maybe or even maybe the year before that, I'm not sure. But that's at my dad's allotment and um, I love that picture. Look how happy we all are. Um, and then oh, me and Carl at Amy's wedding, some, the same picture that we've got in the dining room. Oh, at my grandma and granddad's garden when my brother was over. Um, from Canada again with his girlfriend and little baby Lexi. She's a bit bigger than that now. Oh, lockdown fun when I lived with my mom and dad in lockdown earlier last year. Let's go for a random one. Oh, when Carl came back from Cyprus, that was us at Rutland Water. Oh, good memories. It'll be nice every month to turn that and see what's next. So then back through the house and upstairs. Again, I would love a little table to go here or maybe even like a laundry basket, a nice looking one to go there, but we haven't got one yet. We do have this that I've had since I was in my flat as well. My mum and dad bought me this one Christmas. I need to update the pictures in it, to be honest, because this is my younger brother's little girl. She's now six, so I need to change that. And that's me and Kyle at Brighton Beach, at a family wedding, my friends when we did the bright and colour run, me and my older brother again, me and my grandma and my mum in New York. It's the Empire State Building behind us, we're up the Rockefeller Centre there and we went to New York in 2012 so that was a while ago now, that was after just after I'd come back from Afghan and me skiing in, uh, where is that, France? Must be France, yeah. So, bathroom. We haven't painted or anything in here. Um, I have got a little bath tray, which I love, um, to put all my Tropic goodies on. Um, but yeah, apart from that, nothing is really any different in here. Um, I've taken over the cabinet. Everything Tropic, obviously. <laughs> then the, mm, I'll take you into our room first. So this is our bedroom. Carl's obviously just been sat on the bed because his big bum mark is there. <laughs> but yeah, we've got another radiator cover up here. And what I need to tell you about this room is obviously we only have one set of curtains. Now we saw these curtains in Next and we loved them. We wanted white curtains in here. Um, so we bought these, but the size we needed for this window, they didn't have in stock. So we ordered them in the shop because they said, well, we can just order them and have them sent to your house. So we bought them, brought these ones home, put them up, bought a curtain pole for there, and then next contacted us after they didn't deliver our curtains on the day they said they would and said that the other size curtains were out of stock and they weren't being made again. So we're stuck with one set of curtains. Um, we are still looking for curtains for here, but we haven't seen any other nice white ones we like. So if you've got any recommendations, pop it in the description box below. And then we are going to pop these curtains in the spare room which has no curtains at the moment so that's our plan once we get curtains for both windows so yeah that's that story <laughs> um our radiator cover carl got a money box i think it was from his mum as well for christmas so we're safe 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 this year um little sweet jar again mint imperials we don't eat those as much so they're okay <laughs> um and then this big Beautiful mirror, again I got from Melody Maison, I absolutely love that website and it's a bit rustic and it's got like the detail in the corners and it's full length so I can stand in it and uh, see my whole self if I'm getting ready to go out or as today I'm just in comfies because how else do you spend the time between Christmas and New Year and before you go back to work so this is what I'm doing <laughs> and then our bed we had before, again this is from Next, can you tell I like Next furniture? Um, I bought this when I was in my flat because it has drawers underneath and I needed in a one bedroom flat storage with everything. So, and I still love this bed. We would like to buy a bigger bed but it's not a priority. With Carl being six foot four, a king size would be better so he's not kneeing me in the night and we both better get to better night's sleep. But that'll be for like a new house. When we buy our own house, we'll perhaps look at getting a king size then when we know how big our bedroom is. The bedside tables, 
I bought these new. Um, we got these again from Next. So we pretty much got our drawers here from Next. These bedside tables and our sofa all in the same shop. Um, in the same trip. So they all came well before Christmas. And I love the storage that they give. This little puffy thing here was came from my flat as well. Um, I love the crushed velvet and that's why I had that crushed velvet lamp as well. But we've just kept it. We thought about selling it, but it's quite handy. Um, I can't even remember what's in it. Um, oh, nothing. <laughs> um, so we could use that as storage. <laughs> um, I completely haven't been using that. Um, my lovely picture that I got from the garden centre near my mum and dad's in Chepstow. Um, I absolutely adore this picture. It is a scene from Central Park in New York. I've walked over that bridge and I love it. I love the colours. It's obviously all grey and white which goes perfectly with the room and the house. And yeah, lamps also next. <laughs> And the grey colour that I've got in the living room and here is Chic Shadow. Um, I had this in my flat, had it in my room on camp. Absolutely adore it. Love it. Um, and then, yeah, that's it. Bedside tables, if you fancy being a bit nosy. <laughs> this is the book I'm reading at the moment, The 5am Club. It's going to inspire me to start getting up at 5am when I go back to work. Um, and elevate my life. So, yeah, I'm a few chapters in, so... I am feeling inspired, but I'm not back at work yet, so I intend to start doing that when I'm back at work. Wish me luck. <laughs> Obviously, my Tropic So Sleepy stuff, my roll-on and my pillow spray has to be next to my bed. I've got this little white company jewellery box that my mum bought me last Christmas, and obviously my engagement ring box um, that, because obviously Carl posed before Christmas, if you didn't know. <laughs> And then that's Carl's side of the bed, so that's his stuff. And then I've got a little reed diffuser on here. This is a Yankee Candle one. Smells amazing. It's like lavender and something else. I can't remember. Um, but I got this from Carl's mum for Christmas. And I can't help but I just can't bring myself to put this away. This is obviously the birthday card that Carl proposed to me with. Um, I'll also link my birthday video so you can go and watch that because he gave me this. And then he was down on one knee because obviously it said fiance and I wasn't at that point. But um, yeah, so I can't bear to put that away yet. These are just some faux flowers, I think from Home Sense. And this is a vase that some when I was an instructor at the um, police school down in Portsmouth with the RAF, they, one of my um, courses gave me this vase, said thank you, Nether Raven flight, November 16 to May 17, is when they went through their training, and I still have it, guys, if any of you watch this, well, you probably don't, but probably didn't want to see me again after that, but, <laughs> um, but yeah, they got me this vase, and I love it, um, and it's memories, and yeah, it's up here with some faux flowers in. My makeup bags, um, a little candle that my friend Kirsty got me a while ago now. Um, but again, the colours go perfect in here. And a little trinket tray, random hair grips, fake eyelashes and half an earring. And yeah, I don't have half an earring though. I'm a bit better than that. I do have whole earrings on there and a hairband. So I use it for what it was intended. <laughs> and then last but not least... The spare room. Now again, an unfinished room as we wanted a day bed there. Um, but we haven't got around to it yet. We we did see a one we liked in Ikea, a white one, but it was out of stock. So they said it was going to be in stock back in about February time. So maybe we'll have a look then and see if we can get um, a day bed for here and then see what we do with that wall. Because it's a big spare room. Um, so there's plenty of room. But obviously this side... I have done something with now this is like my office space so this is going to be our like spare room slash office so first of all this light I absolutely adore this light so fluffy load of feathers and this is from next again although they do ones of this in Dunelm which I did look at but they were out of stock so I went for the one in next and the only difference is I think the one in Dunelm doesn't have these droplets um and the next one does so this is pretty prettier than the one in Dunelm but yeah I love it perfect bit of quirkiness that I can play with in here then these prints I wanted to go for a green and gold theme in here um 
and these prints were perfect from Decenio. I think these are large, these sizes, because it's such a big wall that I can take it. And I got two of the same tropical prints um, either side with the gold frame. You buy them separately, so you buy the print and then the frame separately. So I went for a gold frame and then this one in the middle. I love this quote. Your mind is a powerful thing. When you fill it with positive thoughts, your life will start to change. I love that. I love positive books, I, obviously. Reading the Five Ing Club, I've read The Secret and stuff, so yeah, I love that. And a nice positive quote for people to read when they walk in here or stay here. <laughs> then my desk, I think this is more of a dressing table to be honest, because we didn't notice until we got it back, but this bit is exposed. Again, it's from Ikea. Carl tried painting it, but it doesn't really do anything. So I think it's meant to be up against a wall, um, but I loved it because it's got this drawer um it's got this drawer here that i can store all my stuff in um my laptop and then i've got this set of drawers here which has got all like admin bits in and all my nail bits ready for painting people's nails i've done my own i've gone for french tips this time fresh for the new year um and then i've got these tropical trays which i got from home sense um, this little gold mirrored tray here that I've got a couple more nail bits on is from Oliver Bonus, which I popped into Milton Keynes and I found that shop and I love this. And then, find my water. <laughs> and then these little bits I got from HomeSense as well. Little gold pen holder, little gold organizer here. And then these little bits as well I got in a sale, like the sale bit in HomeSense, it says Boss Lady. And then I have this little one here as well that says Boss Lady on it. And then this, um, these shelves again I got from Ikea, they were just 50 pounds. Um, and I think they put, they are perfect for putting all my Tropic display. So when I'm sat here doing videos or Zooms with people, I've got my YouTube, <laughs> my YouTube cushion down there. Um, it all looks nice behind me and a bit professional so yeah i love that although my plant that i got i failed it's dying i need to do something about that oh and i also forgot to mention that this chair i really wanted a shell chair for here and this is perfect and i put it up on my instagram saying i was looking for a chair a couple of months ago and loads of people jumped to my help um, which i'm really grateful for so thank you you know who you are and suggested this chair in um why is it focusing on my water um and found this chair in next um it was quite expensive it was about 249 pounds i think but i absolutely love it it's perfect for what i wanted it's got the gold legs and it's really comfortable um perfect height for my desk as well yeah love it and here we go there's the view out of this window the back garden and i don't know if you can see the little horse the white one is just there the black one was here a minute ago but it's disappeared but uh yeah and then these are the old bedside tables we had in our bedroom and at the moment i've kept them because i don't know whether i'm going to sell them or what i'm going to do with them um they just need a fresh of um a fresh lick of paint and i've just got my nail light on there some kitchen roll tissues random mirror um and then our dates chart if you saw my goals video my last video you'll see me talk about this haven't scratched any off yet but we have been for a walk and i think that's on there um so yeah i'm gonna have to get looking at that and sort a date out for this month and that is our spare room obviously we need curtains for here like i mentioned before we'll bring the white ones in here when we get another set but that is the spare room and that is our house tour i hope you enjoyed it so that is our full house tour everything we've done so far as i've said throughout the video there are things that we would like to add um things that we still have left to do we haven't done everything we want to um but whether or not we do those things we're unsure as i said at the start we don't know how long we're going to be here um because our plan is to buy our own place eventually, of course, as everybody's I'm sure is. Um, but uh, yeah, we shall see what happens. But this is the state we've got it to. I'm really chuffed with how we've made it feel so homely in such a short space of time. Like I said, we only moved in on the 18th, I think it was, of September. So in about three months, we've, we've made it really nice. 
um, and we've been lucky that a lot of our furniture has come um, and it came before Christmas which we weren't sure if it would um, but yeah we're really happy with it we love it and I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching everyone if you haven't subscribed already I would love you to subscribe as I bring a new video every Sunday and I can't wait to see you here for more and come through 2021 with me to see what it has in store because I think it's going to be a good one see you soon guys bye